Tonight in our nation's capital, the clock is ticking for Congress to finalize some major spending bills. And if they can't reach an agreement before the end of the month, a government shutdown will take place. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp now joins us live from the U.S. Capitol. Good evening, Rachel. Good evening, Mike and Eva. So a short term funding measure is going to be the focus this month on the Hill. Members have until September 30th to finalize this. So they're really going to need move, to move quickly on this. Now, congressional leaders and President Biden are looking to pass what's called a continuing resolution. It's a temporary spending bill that keeps the government up and running without disruptions. They could pass this to buy some time to work on a complete budget. We can also expect lawmakers to look at funding for Ukraine and disaster relief as part of this funding. Now, if Congress can't come to a resolution before midnight on September 30th, a shutdown could happen, meaning we could expect to see mass furloughs for federal employees, which could also put a strain on services. So for example, Social Security payments will still be sent out, but benefit verification as well as issuing new cards would end. Inspecting sites for hazardous waste and drinking water could be halted. Air travel could get disrupted. National parks could close, just to name a few things. Now, negotiations for these spending bills could face some major hurdles in the coming weeks. Some hard right Republicans in the House are hoping to load up conservative policies in these spending packages, something that the Democratic led Senate is likely to reject. These policies could include blocking abortion coverage and transgender health care and diversity initiatives in the military spending package. But they also are calling to spend even less than what the Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, and President Biden agreed to a few months ago as part of a bill to increase the nation's debt ceiling. Now, before Congress left for their August recess, some of those same hard right Republicans say that they feel like it's almost uh, uh, that they wouldn't mind or embrace the idea of a government shutdown so that they could lower some of those non-defense spending. Mike, Eva, back to you. Okay, Rachel, and according to reports, a government shutdown doesn't necessarily have widespread impacts on the economy unless a shutdown drags on for weeks.